Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today is Columbus Day, and actually I'm here to show you how to make the Skeledot bracelet. And the thing is, I actually already made a tutorial, but I found a better way to make it so that it's, like, see how one side wants to stick out more than the other in this bracelet? found a way to prevent that so that it's all, like, evened out. It doesn't show as much here second bracelet that I made using this method but yeah I found a different way to do that do it so it doesn't do that so yeah but I had literally filmed a tutorial edited it and everything and then I just found out this method so yeah oh well I feel like the tutorial could have been improved anyways though so I guess that's a good thing but yeah first of all you're gonna need rainbow loom and it's going to need to have like a little space for your bracelet to come out of the bottom because this is a growing bracelet. So you'll want to put your bases, one small one at the very end, and then cram your two, a smaller one and a larger one over at the other end. That way you have enough space right here to make your bracelet. So yeah. Again, since this is growing, I can't tell you how many bands you'll need, but you'll need a lot. You'll need one band color for your center and then alternating colors for the outside borders but yeah let's get started so you're gonna take your first color I'm using gold you're gonna stretch it in these four pegs and then and four pegs right next to the other one and yeah what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, you're going to need... This is the border color, that's what I was going to say. Not the center. You're using the border color right now. And then, you just twist both of these diamonds up. Doesn't matter what direction or anything, I don't think. Currently twisting, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. No. Grr. Sometimes I just want to like punch my loom and throw it at the wall. Have you ever been frustrated like that? That's why I like to use my monster tail a lot, because if I throw it on the wall, it shouldn't hurt anything too bad. Same with the finger loom. I'm not promoting, promoting loom violence in any way though. But yeah. Now you take your center color, which I'm using black for, and then you put it and you twist it on these bottom two pegs. In case you're wondering, earlier I put it on these two pegs and that's why I had the weird effect. But you're going to want to put it like this. That way it looks a lot nicer. Now you just loop the bottom band over on the pe peg with the black bands. Now you take your next color, which I'm using it's pearl blue, and then put it right on top of the other gold band pegs. But this time you don't twist it, you're not going to be doing any more twisting. And then you just loop all the bands underneath over. I'm so smart in the morning. But yeah. Now you take your next band, black, put it right on top of the two pegs where the last black was, and then just loop over the bands underneath. And you basically repeat this process of laying one band on these four pegs, looping over, and then laying a black band here and looping over. And I'll show you one more time what the step is, process is. You can rewind if you need to. 
But yeah, here's your next color, which I'm using turquoise for. Again, put it on all four pegs. And then just loop all the bands underneath it over. And then you take your black and then put it on these two pegs and then loop over the bands underneath. Now you repeat this process until your bracelet's long enough to go around your wrist and then I'll come back and show you how to finish it. Okay, so I've made my bracelet long enough that I'll go around my wrist. And if it bunches up in the center like this, you can either leave it like this and wear it like this. Or you can pull out your borders a little bit. And that's how it gets its like skeletal look. It's weird because the other version of this bracelet didn't bunch up like this. So I guess this is better since you can wear it two ways. But yeah, just pull out the borders anytime. I think it's shrinking up in the middle. But yeah. Anyways. Finish the bracelet. What you're going to do is you're going to want to get all your bands on each side on one of these two pegs. So you'll take your, this band right here, pull it into this peg. Then this top band up here, pull it onto the same peg. And then this band onto this peg. Now you're going to pull everything on this peg. So take this band, pull it in, take this band, pull it in, and then take this band and pull it in. And now you take your black band. Put it on both these pegs, and then loop all four under bands underneath over. And you can do it one at a time, or you can do it like all at once, three at a time, whatever is work, works for you. I'm doing it two at a time right now. And then put this band here onto this peg with the other end of it. And then I like to put it on my hook instead of clipping it here because it's easier. My hair keeps getting in the camera. I'm sorry about that, guys. Guess you know now what hair color I have. And now you clip these two bands on your hook. Pull it off. And then take your clip. Find the other end. See this first two black bands here? Then we want to clip those. And then you'll maybe want to stretch out the ends a little bit. Because you probably didn't get all of it. And there's your bracelet. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.